Squan is in a very, very uh, prime time in its prophetic calendar. Especially when Prophet T.B. Joshua was living, there are a lot of prophetic operations that was going on in the atmosphere. In fact, the ability of Prophet Evelyn to pick these instructions of Prophet T.B. Joshua in the atmosphere, in the spirit, and even in the physical, is what has saved Squan and it's taken Squan to the next level. What we have as at now is a brand new vision Squan. Well, it's not about a newer one, but it's an instructional squan. A squan after Prophet T.B. Joshua was physically uh, around. This was a product of instruction that was taken from Prophet T.B. Joshua. I gave one episode earlier before, and I believe I can still give this episode as many times as possible. <laughs> openly and freely, without any contradiction, anticipation. What we have on the ground right now, Squan, you will thank me that all, or you thank other people, not really me, <laughs> you thank other, every, everyone. You thank my Prophet Zivilin and uh, <laughs> the Squan entire operation of team. <laughs> You will thank them because, and thank God for that, uh, these former uh, uh, disciples, I believe they had a plan. They had a plan, really good one. If you want to know they had a plan, you go to the previous episodes one year ago and you see what we are talking about and uh, take it from there. You will understand us better from now. They had a plan. And their plan was anybody standing on their way would be slashed out. In fact, even us, people like me and Pastor Tommy and uh, Marie and uh, House of Truth uh, in Cameroon, I think uh, House, House of Truth come from Cameroon, yes. God bless you, sir. God bless you so much. And uh, Ima Olerum, we know uh, God's own TV. <laughs> We know there are many, there are many. Emmanuel Fans TV, we know the Emmanuel Official TV. There are many, many, many. Leave alone all the other ones. I just mentioned, I didn't mention it as accounting, but I just mentioned because it's just picked on my mouth. And uh, we thank God that all of them have stood to know the truth and have been speaking this every other side, every other area. And we know when we started talking about this, all other people also came out. And they were talking about, we will bring you down. Oh no. They had that intention to bring people down. And that intention was like, people should not talk in favor of Squan or in favor of Pastor Avery, or people should not talk in favor of any other people that are affiliated to Squan. And uh, we will keep talking. And that's why you find that uh, there are people like uh, Dauphin and people like. Uh, uh, Bisola, they, they are not taking us so nice as such. And uh, we will stand where the truth stands in and uh, we will thank God. This is not just blogging, no. We are standing on the truth of God's word as we propel. We have so many other things we can talk about, of course. We can talk about the rot in some few places and some few churches, different areas and different grounds. But in the end of the whole day, we will have one thing left. We have to find the truth, and the truth will set you free. Timothy Profitable, this is a short episode, and I'm waiting to see you in your comments and in any other place in another watching video in the coming episode. God bless you. <laughs>